A recent New York Magazine article titled Why Does Being a Woman Put You at Greater Risk of Having Anxiety focuses on the link between gender and anxiety disorder. An estimated 18.1% of American adults suffer from some form of anxiety disorder, but it disproportionately affects women, who are about twice as likely to develop the illness. Wall Street Journal writer Andrea Peterson, author of the new book on Edge A Journey Through Anxiety says there are a number of risk factors that contribute to anxiety but there is no greater risk factor for anxiety disorders than being born female. This of course raises the question of whether women are born anxious or if society conditions us to be that way. When the outlet tweeted out a link to the article, people were quick to offer their ideas about why women are more likely to develop anxiety disorders. Knowing I will be harassed by strangers if I leave my house is a pretty good contributor it'd say, B.B. Kankel Angel crossed fingers at Pedantic Otter August 2, 2017 because of the continued existence of misogynists who constantly harass them, J.D. Gollinger at Day's Dream underscore August 2, 2017 Furthermore, women are twice as likely to develop PTSD which is a form of anxiety disorder because the traumas most commonly experienced by women specifically sexual assault, domestic violence, and other physical abuse are more intimate and personal and the perpetrators are often people the victims once trusted. And the Trump tweet refers to a problem far greater than people who are upset and angry that he was elected president. Shortly after the election, the Ottawa Citizen reported that female sexual assault survivors said Trump's behavior and rhetoric triggered their own trauma and made them physically ill. Furthermore, women are genuinely concerned and anxious about our reproductive rights, which have been under attack over the past six months. Our environment and culture certainly aren't the sole reasons women are at greater risk for anxiety, but these tweets hit close to home.